Unreal Engine 4.18 now gives us better control when using a physics asset to use multi-convex bodies for the primitive shapes. And this is 4.17. If we were to go in and let's say we wanted our head to be something convex, something to fit better. We want, let's say, the head itself, which I've already removed the element. We'll do a new body. I'll change this to a single convex hole and hit OK. And we'll get this result, which we can see in the background. Let me get rid of my neck. There we go. So we have a little convex fitting. But let's say it's not exactly what we want. Maybe we want it to fit a little bit better. We don't want these edges that go in to puff out as much. Now we could go in. We could go ahead and let's see. Here's our physics type. We'll go ahead and reset it. We'll change this to a multi-convex. We'll leave the default options. We'll hit OK. And we'll run to an issue. We have an issue with not able to do a multi-convex physics asset due to the presence of soft vertices. And in general, multi-convex is just a giant pain in the butt to work with the older system. Also, if we tried to create the entire thing, the system just freaks out. In 4.18, we actually have, with the new physics asset system, a much better way, an actual way that works. So let's go ahead and take this neck item. Let me go ahead and get rid of my neck item. We're going to go to our head. We'll get rid of our head item. Now we have nothing to sign like before. I want to change this over to a multi-convex hole. Now that it's in the new body creation tool, we don't have to have a modal window. We can just say, hey, I want multi-convex. Hit add bodies, and it's going to go and generate the new bodies. Now, depending on your skeletal mesh, this may take a while. We're not going to go ahead and run through the entire body because that does take a little bit. But you'll notice it's actually running this time. It's not freaking out. It's not panicking. It's generating our multi-convex hole like we are asking it to. Once this is done, instead of just having one physics asset, probably like before we were in a single convex hole, we're going to end up with a multi-convex hole. And it's going to more appropriately conform to the body itself, the bone, the mesh. So if we go ahead and look at this, you'll notice, let's click on it and let's zoom in and look around it. We have a much better fitting and tighter physics body asset. And if we look at this, you'll notice we actually have multiple parts. And as I scroll through, you might be able to see them highlighting down here, 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 because we have multiple physics objects encompassing this actual mesh. So again, prior to the previous version, prior to 4.18, multi-convex didn't work very well, and we couldn't easily change like you can see here. So with 4.18, we now have the ability to have multi-convex, and you can easily edit, you can easily adjust, you can easily make the entire body a multi-convex if you would like. But it now works, it's quick, it's simple and efficient, and it gives us a really nice result if we want something that actually conforms to our body as smoothly as possible. Maybe you want realistic physics that actually apply without any extra gap or air, and you just you now have the result in the engine to use multi-convex holes properly as a primitive type for your physics assets.